This is SBNN, the Safford Bulldog News Network, your source for everything Safford High School. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag Good morning, Stafford High School. I'm Haley Kandari. I'm Adriana True. I'm Karim Erikarba. I'm Hannah Story, and you're watching the Stafford Bulldog News Network. Today is Wednesday, January 5th. And you're watching The Daily Show! What's up, guys? Welcome back to Silas' Sports Segments. I'm Silas, and I'm here with... Garrett Pritchard. And I'm going to be asking him some questions about football and track. So how did the Safford football team do in your personal opinion? Um, we did good. I know me and Christian were really excited for the season and we really worked hard this summer and with the news of Omer leaving it was hard for us but we kept on working and I'm proud of what we did and I'm excited for the new uh, staff uh, with, that we have with coaching at Safford like Will Bond, uh, Park, they all did an amazing job with what we had. Yeah, I completely agree. How did injuries affect your season personally? Um, I had a hard season, what's it called, uh, right before our scrimmage uh, in the beginning of the year. I twisted my ankle, that pulled me out for two games. As soon as I got back, I was enjoying it, doing really good, and I ended up getting sick and I was out for a bit. And then our game against Pushridge came, our senior night, doing great. I just made a good play, and I pulled down the line and someone nailed me right in the head and I was out for a concussion with the rest of the season. It sucked, but I was there to support my team and I'm happy about that. Yeah, definitely a really big gap in the team when you left. Yeah, it was hard. <laughs> um, so moving forward, what are you most excited for with track? Um, state, uh, what's it called? I placed third last year in shot put, and I didn't place in disc because I made some mistakes. So I'm really excited to go back and revamp them and maybe take first in both. All right, awesome. Welcome back, SHS students and, and faculty. Uh, just wanted to go over a few uh, things and review um, some of the things we've been doing so far this year. Um, one thing that's uh, been really great is tardies are down from last year, um, and uh, we're doing a great job of getting back to class. Just want to do some reminders of how the semester absences and the quarterly tardies work. Okay, first of all, um, our spring semester started today, January the 3rd, and it runs through May the 19th. Okay, for attendance purposes, um, the max amount of absences you may have during the semester um, until the end of the year would be seven. Anything after seven would put you in jeopardy and get a no grade and no credit. Um, our semester is broken into two quarters. Uh, the third quarter runs from January 3rd today to March 10th. That is the day we get out for spring break. During that time, during the third quarter, you get three tardies total, a cumulative tardies, um, so um, again, we've been doing a pretty good job. Um, if you if you do get your third tardy, um, you might need to be changing your your lunchtime habits or or getting to school habits. Um, and then the fourth quarter starts when we get back from spring break, March twenty first, and runs through May nineteenth. And your tardies are erased during spring break, and you have three um, the fourth quarter as well. Um, we'd uh, encourage you not to be tardy at all, uh, just cause it's good practice. Um, but we do understand that things happen and that's why you get three. Um, so, uh, last things, uh, kind of a different thing this semester will be how, uh, your teachers integrates when you're absent. Um, when you are absent, it's your job to get the assignments off of Google classroom or to communicate with your teacher. Um, you will be given zeros and they will be entered in the grade book right away. That way you can see what your grade will be if you do not turn in those assignments. Once you get back from uh, your sickness or your absences or whatever you're doing and you make the grade up, the teacher will put the grade in and uh, you should be back where you needed to be. Um, this will definitely help uh, make sure that we are... Uh, turning the, the assignments in without letting them lapse, and um, we, we have a real idea of what our grades are. 
Um, if you have any questions about that, um, please feel free to talk to any staff member. Um, but the best practice is to come in on a Friday on days that you missed, if you can, and make up the work. If not, get it right into your teacher as if you've missed two days, you get a couple of days to make those up. Communication with your teacher is going to be real critical on this so that we don't have um, kids failing or feeling like they're failing. I would just say that we're tickled that you have you back. We got some some new things on the wall. Um, encourage you to keep this uh, second semester. Try to stay out of trouble, of course, uh, but try to keep your grades up and participate in activities. Uh, hope you have a great rest of the semester. We'll see you soon. Juniors, there will be a junior class meeting Friday, January 14th in room 109 at 10 a.m. Prom is in the air, ladies and gentlemen. The Yaya Mamas Book Club will be meeting Monday, January 10th, right after school in room 109. What book have you read? Well, that's the SBN and Daily Show for Wednesday. Make sure to tune in next time. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.